All right, so we are going to uh, take a look at 5.2, and we're going to talk about um, factoring now again. But we're going to talk about a method called slide and divide. And slide and divide is a, a great method, I think, in solving quadratics that have a number greater than, actually, a number that is um, not one x squared. So it could be negative or positive. It really doesn't matter. So the first problem that we have is 6x squared minus x minus 35. And basically, this is what I mean that we need to do. Um, according to slide and divide, what this means is normally you would sit there and try to factor this, correct? Like I am by factoring, either at the guess and check, or instead of guessing and checking, um, you could sit there and do factoring by grouping. Well, with slide and divide, here's what you do: you take the six and you slide it over. Okay, so what that means is you do six times. Uh, it should be a negative uh, 35. There it should be. So you take it by negative uh, 35, and 6 times negative 35 is negative 210. So here's what you do. When you rewrite this, you write it as x squared minus x. Because I slid that over, that means the x went over here. And that's why we have, instead of the 35, I have a negative 210. You're used to factoring stuff this way. With this kind of factoring, you guys had no problem with this, right? What multiplies to give you negative 210 that adds to give you negative 1? Now I get it. That's a big number, right? So when we set up our triangle here, what multiplies, or x, what multiplies to give you negative 210 that adds to give you negative 1? Well, very simply put, um, you have to sit there and think about it. And this is an even number, so I would sit there and try to divide by evens. But anyway, when we do this, I figure out that we end up getting um, negative 15 and positive 14, right? Negative 15 times 14 is negative 210 negative 15 plus 14 is negative 1. So what that means is I separate these. Here's my x's separated equals 0. I put a negative 15 in and a positive 14 in. Okay. Now because I slid or I slide by 6, now this is where the dividing comes in. Now I need to divide both sides by the number that I slid by. So I slide by 6. Now I divide each of these by 6. Okay. Now, before we do anything with this, I need to simplify. What can I take out of the 15 and the 6? I can take a 3 out of both of those. What can I take out of the 14 and the 6? I can take a 2 out of both of those. So when I simplify, I end up actually getting x minus 5 over 2 and x plus 7 over 2, right? 15 divided by 3 is 5. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now that I have this set up, here's what you do. Whenever you're writing factors, you can't write it with fractions. So here's the very simple way. You make sure these are simplified, which we did. We already simplified it. Here's a very simple move that will work. You take the number in the denominator and you push it out to the front. So all I did was take the denominator. I'm moving it out in front. So I get 2x minus 5. I get 3x plus 7. And I have them equal 0. So now I just have to separate each of these equal to 0. To solve this, I'd add 5 on both sides. I'd subtract 7 on both sides of this one, and you guys should be able to take it from here. So we get 2x equals 5, and we get 3x equals negative 7. We divide both sides by 2 on that side, and by 3 on that side. And we divide them by 3. And we end up getting x equals 5 halves, and we end up getting x equals negative 7 over 3. And there are your two answers. So keep in mind, so you have very good reasons for this, that uh, Bob Barker uses this. So if Bob Barker's used this, and he was in uh, doing the prices right for uh, at least 30 years. So the point is, if he uses it, I'm telling you right now, it's a good method to use. So next one, let's try another problem out. 24x squared minus 14x minus 3. So according to slide and divide, I slide that over. 24 times negative 3 is negative 72. So when you rewrite this, it is an x squared now, a negative 14x, and that became negative 72. So what multiplies to give you negative 72 that will add to give you negative 14? So when I set this up, what multiplies would be negative 72 that adds to give you negative 14? Hmm. Well, I know instantly people start going negative 9 and 8. 
you know, or 9 and negative 8. Well, there's other numbers that give you 72. Negative 18 and positive 4 works. Negative 18 times positive 4 is negative 72, and negative 18 plus 4 is negative 14. So when I set this up with my x's out in front, I put a negative 18 there and a positive 4 there. So when doing this, um, remember I slide by 24, so now I need to divide both sides by 24. And simplify. I can take a 6 out of each of those. I can take a 4 out of each of those. So I end up with a 3 over 4, and I end up with a 1 over 6. So once again, right, 18 divided by 6 is 3, 24 divided by 6 is 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 24 divided by 4 is 6. Going to slide and divide, all right, that's great, we're done, except from this step right here, I need to move, all right, we can't have fractions and factors, so let's move that over. So the bottom shifts over. So I end up with a 4x minus 3 and a 6x plus 1 equals 0. There's a 0 behind there. So I separate each of these. 4x minus 3 equals 0 and 6x plus 1 equals 0. Uh, to solve those, I'd add 3. To solve this, I'd subtract 1. And when doing this, those cross out. So I get 4x equals 3. And on this side, I get 6x equals negative 1. So I would divide both sides by 4 to solve on this one. And I divide both sides by 6. So I get x equals 3 fourths as an answer, and x equals negative 1 over 6 as an answer. And just remember, uh, Bill Gates, multi-millionaire, um, genius, and um, an individual who really knows what to do with money. Um, question I have for you is, how do you think he got rich? Okay, how do you think? It's because he used slide and divide. So when we come back here, I'll give you some more examples with uh, slide and divide.